Hello, Alan Steady here again with Firewalls.com. In this video, we're going to be demonstrating how to enable DOS and spoof protection on your Sophos XG firewall. In addition to the protection that can be configured in the security policies, there are also global protection settings which can also be enabled, which include protection against denial of service, DOS attacks, as well as IP spoofing. Let's go ahead and jump into the web admin of our Sophos XG firewall and take a look. Here, in our web admin, we'll navigate to System from our menu, followed by System Services and DOS and Spoof Protection. Here, in our DOS and Spoof Protection settings, we can apply security settings for both denial of service and IP spoof attacks. We'll start with IP spoof protection. As we can see, before we can begin to even enable spoof protection, we need to add at least one entry into the Trusted Mac list. To add a Trusted Mac address, select the Add button under the Spoof Protection Trusted Mac. Start by entering in the MAC address, followed by selecting the appropriate IP address. We can also add the IPv6 address. When done, select Save. Where we can see that our trusted MAC address list has been updated. Once you have completed the entry of all of your trusted MAC addresses, we can then enable spoof prevention. When spoof prevention is enabled, the Sophos XG firewall prevents spoofing in three ways. IP spoofing. Packets will be dropped if the matching route entry is not available. MAC filter. Packets will be dropped if the MAC addresses are not configured as trusted MACs. And our last option, IP MAC pair filter. Packets will be dropped if the IP and MAC do not match with any entry in the IP MAC trusted list. Apply the desired spoof protection to the appropriate zones by selecting the check boxes, followed by apply. In addition to these three modes, we also have the option to restrict unknown IP on a trusted MAC. With this option enabled, any traffic from an IP address which is not in the trusted list for the MAC address it is coming from will be dropped. Scrolling down, we can also make adjustments to our DOS settings. A denial of service DOS attack is a method that hackers use to prevent or deny legitimate users access to a service. DOS attacks are typically executed by sending many request packets to a targeted server, usually a web, FTP, or mail server, which floods the server's resources, making the system unusable. The hacker's goal with this form of attack is not to steal the information but to disable or deprive a device or network so that users no longer have access to the network services or resources. All servers can handle traffic volume up to a certain threshold, beyond which they become disabled. Hence, attackers send a very high volume of redundant traffic to a system so it cannot keep up with the bad traffic and allow permitted network traffic. The best way to protect against a DOS attack is to identify and block such redundant traffic. Here, we can see the configuration for a send flood attack. We can set the allowed packet rate per minute for each source and destination, as well as a burst rate for each source and destination in packets per second. When the burst rate is crossed, the Sophos XG firewall considers it as an attack and provides DOS attack protection by dropping all of the excess packets from the particular source or destination. The firewall will continue to drop the packets until the attack subsides. Because the device applies threshold values per IP address, only traffic from the particular source or destination will be dropped. The rest of the network traffic will continue to be processed as normal. So here, you can see that we can apply rate limits for a number of attack types, which include send flood protection, UDP flood protection, TCP flood protection, as well as ICMP flood protection. To apply a rate limit, simply select the radio corresponding to the desired attack which we wish to prevent. Keeping in mind that if you are hosting any services, you may need to increase these packet rates. Once complete, select the Apply button. where we could see that our DOS settings have been successfully updated. We can also configure a DOS bypass rule by selecting the Add button and specifying both the source and destination networks or hosts, as well as the protocol and source and destination ports. And that's it. As always, if you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel so you can stay in the loop of our next video release, and more importantly, you can provide us feedback, which we're always interested in, 
We want to help you and we want to hear from you. So leave us a post, give us some ideas on videos you guys are interested in, and we appreciate you watching.